Hi, if some of you are maybe thinking about getting into swimming, um, just to stay in shape or maybe even to do masters of swimming to give that a try, I thought I would share with you some equipment and stuff just to get started. So first off, you'd want a, a bathing suit. I tend to like the bathing suits. These are Speedo that have what is called a racer back. I find they're very comfortable to wear. Um, the straps are not going like digging into your shoulders, but these are, it's very comfortable, especially when you're doing the different strokes like butterfly. They come in many different colors. I have them in yeah, several different colors and I usually leave a few in my swim bag. For goggles, when I'm practicing, I like to use these, which are a Speedo Hydro Specs. I just find they're very comfortable and I like to get like a light tint. So when you're doing backstroke and looking up, it's protecting your eyes. And yeah, very comfortable. I've been using these for years, um, but when you do swim meets, it's nice to have a pair of racing goggles because these are not considered low profile. They stand out quite a bit from your eyes. So if you dive in, they could fall off and they're not very aerodynamic. Uh, a racing goggle that I love and discovered recently was Arena Cobra Swipe. And also very comfortable to wear. They're low profile. They stay on when you're diving in for a swim meet and they just feel really good. I would even wear them for swim practice too. They're that comfortable, but these are a bit more expensive than these. Um, fins are good to have too. These are short fins just to change things up a bit when you're swimming for practice. So again, like the short fins, these are tear burner, very comfortable. These are nice. They come in small, medium, and large. The smaller size five to seven. Okay, now if you're swimming in the winter, when you go in and out of the water, it's helpful to have a parka. This is mine for, from many decades ago, but I still wear it. It's actually kind of nice to show up to your pool with your swimsuit already on and sunblock on <clears throat> wearing the parka. And then when you leave too, you can just dry off, put this parka back on and go straight in your car and back home and then just take your shower at home, especially during COVID lockdowns of some of the locker rooms was needed, but I just find that's easier to do. And then you will never forget putting on your swimsuit if you show up already wearing your swimsuit. Mm, let's look at the caps. Okay, so there's two main types of caps that you'll probably be picking from. One is a latex. This is just a Nike latex. They're thinner and they're not as warm when you wear them. Oh, you know, so when you're doing workouts, you might not want to get hot under your cap like you might from a silicon cap. So during practices, I usually will wear a latex one. Uh, they are a bit thinner. They don't last as long as a um, silicon one, which is a little thicker. It can be warmer. Some can be really tight. I mean, I tried a few different brands. I like the Arena. I felt like this one actually would go over a latex one in swim meets. So you might see in the Olympics, <clears throat> notice there's some televised swim meets. The, the swimmers are actually wearing two caps. So they'll wear the latex one to cover their hair on the bottom. Then they'll put on their racing goggles. And then on top, they'll put the silicone cap. So that does two things. It stabilizes the goggles in between, you know, the layers of your cap. So you have one cap, then your goggles. And then so your goggles won't fall off and stay stabilized. You put this one over, uh, over. and also <clears throat> it tends to be more aerodynamic and not wrinkle. So that's a benefit for having that as a top layer. If you're thinking about doing master swimming, anyone that's 18 years older can participate in master swim meets or join master swimming groups. I did the YMCA masters for a while and there's in your area I'm sure there'll be lots of choices for you right now I just swim on my own because I swam competitively for six years or more <laughs> at the swim meet and one more thing is you'll see a lot of people are wearing you don't need to but a lot of people are wearing tech suits these are the racing suits so they sort of look like shorts 
and you know you can buy them online they should be approved by fina they're very tight they take about 15 minutes to put on so everything's really compressed but it does help for times um, just a side note um, they're banned for 12 years old and under because they don't really fit younger kids and they don't want younger kids who are going to be improving as they get bigger and taller anyways to be you know having to spend lots of money as they're growing into tech suits because they can be expensive but I do see a lot of people wearing them at the master swim meets you don't have to but a lot of people do and that's about it right now for my tips of equipment and talking about doing swimming thanks bye